let's talk about connectivity for a bit. Because connectivity, if we look up the word connectivity, it's all computer related nowadays. Platforms, systems, applications. But for me, it means to join together, to establish a real link with someone or something. We have days like this, not only um, to uh, connect together, but to be innovative. If we look up the definition, as we all know of innovation, is to bring new ideas to life or change existing ones for the better. But it always starts with that burst of creativity. But we can't have that burst of creativity, that awe moment, unless we relax enough and don't take ourselves so seriously so those creative thoughts can come through. So innovation um, is bringing those new ideas that we created to life. So innovation is linked to productivity, efficiency, quality of service. But most importantly, what does it do? It helps build relationships, which leads to a deeper understanding of purpose. When we feel connected to someone or something, what does it do? It makes us want to help. You know, it makes us want to create. It makes us feel inspired. We want the newest fastest, most stable connection possible, right? We want to know what each other's doing. Where are you? Send me an instant message so we can feel connected. Do you guys realize that there are 500 million tweets a day? And if that doesn't resonate with you, that would be the entire Harry Potter series being published every seven seconds. That is how much we are connecting. You know how I know that? Someone tweeted it at me. People love retelling their funny stories because it brings them right back to that moment. As I said before, a shared moment allows people to bond. It works with young people. It works with old people. It doesn't matter. You know, how do business people connect? They play golf, right? This is a great way to connect. Ask people, what is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you? Sometimes it's slow coming, but once they get there, everyone has that one funny story. So every has a funny story. I actually had one uh, woman come up to me after one of my shows and she's like, I have to share this story with you. And I'm like, what? She goes, I was at the in and out of the car wash, right? The in and out car wash. They finished doing my car. I get in, everything's great. I drive away. Three minutes later, some guy pops up from the back seat, still cleaning her car. She drove away with him in it. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what did you do? She's like, I bought him a burger and I took him back to work, right? So everyone, everyone has a funny story. Ask people, what is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you? It really does connect people. That's what it's all about. So I have to share this story with you. Um, I was at this little black dress, black tie event. Um, There's about 300 people there. I was just to get up and do my comedy. And honestly, it ended up being one of the best shows of my life. Like people were laughing and crying and pounding on the tables. It was amazing, right? And uh, oh my gosh, like the comedy gods were with me. I could do no wrong, except for these four women near the front row who hated me. Like cross arms, stink eye, who the hell let her on stage? They hated me and I became obsessed with them. I couldn't understand why I was connecting with 296 people and these four women just hated me. And I went on autopilot and uh, like, because as a comic, as a speaker, everyone wants to be loved and validated. And I just could not connect with them. And I, I didn't understand why, and I was just obsessed. So I missed all the laughter. I missed all the love. I missed all the applause. I got a standing ovation that night and that never happens in Canada. I missed it. Didn't even matter. Like even for our four-year-old's Christmas concerts, we are so tight with our standing O's Canadians. We're like, oh, that was not good enough. Like, and I, it, it didn't even matter. I missed it, right? So, and I had to know, I had to know. So I finished my set and I went up to them after the show and I'm like, look, like, did I offend you? What happened? Why weren't you laughing? And you know what they said? We don't speak English. That is what they said. And I vowed, I know I couldn't believe it either. And I vowed at that moment to always focus on the people who were laughing, who did love me. Because that can go for everything in our lives. There can be a hundred beautiful, incredible things going on. And we are so focused on that one negative thing. So focus on the positive. 